gender inequality is not just a moral or a social issue. It is also a critical economic challenge for us. And we all know that. Nation can grow if we get gender parity and the women equity moves ahead. So will the country's economic growth. Therefore, this has been a very, very integral part of our agenda. And when this again opportunity came, we said diversity and inclusivity is core to our purpose. And hence, we did not shy away from making a, it's a big investment for us, 901 crores. But we went ahead with that because we really believe that this can move, move the nation. Furthermore, if I were to talk about, and it's not just cricket, it's basically sports for all. And what sports for all does, it does a lot. It does four things. And what, in my opinion, RCB women's team will do is A, RCB is known for creating icons. And what icons do, they inspire the young, they inspire the next generation. And they give everybody a hope. So we truly believe that through the women's cricket team, we are going to create icons. I am sitting right next to one already. So and these icons are going to accelerate through sports the opportunity and inspire the young, young girls, women across the country. Secondly, we have a program, Talent ID program, which will go through the, which is called hinterland scouting system, which will go to the length and breadth of the country, identify raw talent, give them an opportunity to showcase their talent, identify them, of course, and then they will uh, showcase their talent. Then what are we going to do? We are also going to have matches where these identified talent players can come, compete, and show their style of cricket. So that is really broad basing. It is not going to just be limited to the current team, but it's just going to broad base. And we are going to use our existing fan base, which, which I, I dare say our RCB fans are the most loyal fans. And we have a huge fan base. And we are going to request this fan base to spread this message to everyone across in India so that we can really be part of this momentous journey. So that's all, ladies and gentlemen, from my side, and why Diageo, why women's team, and that's our rationale. Now I'll hand over to Smriti. Smriti, over to you. Uh, well, firstly, thank you, Prathamesh, sir. Um, and would like to thank uh, the RCB management, firstly, for you know uh, having me uh, uh, in RCB, part of RCB, and also you know uh, making me lead this uh, wonderful, wonderful team. Uh, and of course, RCB as uh, the men's franchise has had such amazing legacy over the last 10 years. Uh, we all have been following and uh, so it's, it was so amazing to see that a uh, franchise like this uh, is interested to buy a women's team. Uh, as you said, that existing fan base and that's only going to help women's game in India, uh, which is on rise in the last four to five years. And I think as you said, uh, uh, the thing that uh, post the bidding when the tender was announced and everything, I remember um, watching few interviews of the owners and this is really not made up just because I've, uh, I've joined RCB, trust me, that I was reading and I just uh, heard Prathamesh sir say that um, uh, we have uh, hold, held on, on on our investments in the overseas league to acquire a women's team. Uh, so that kind of got my heart uh, to RCB for, for sure. I'm really not making this up just because I'm part of RCB, but, but for sure that was something I was like, okay, these are the people we want to, uh, want people, these, these sort of people to invest in women's cricket, take women's cricket forward in India. And I've been part of uh, the setup for the last three to four days and I've just seen the immense uh, respect uh, they have for all the women's players, be it domestic, be it overseas and including me. So I'm, I'm sure that, you know, uh, this uh, this set, this management and the set of these players uh, is going to take RCB to uh, another level and hopefully uh, I could uh, do whatever I can to get a trophy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now we'll take a few questions. So uh, Siddharth will pass on the mic and you can ask questions to Prathmesh or uh, Smriti.
Well, my question, first question is to Pratamesh. First of all, congratulations on your strategy of, at the auction. You have got a team to beat. Uh, so could you tell us some insight into how you prepared for this auction? First of all, auction for a, a women's team, the women's IPL. So could you tell us uh, how you went about the task and uh, did you get exactly what you wanted? So in short, I'll, I'll say that we had been preparing even before we did get the team, even before the auction date was announced. Our team was working behind the scenes and we had identified top 100 players that we would really go after. As I mentioned, our hinterland scouting program was already in place and we had multiple and we had multiple, I would say, mock auctions, scenario planning. And uh, the, the team, I must say, prepped very well. We got, I would say, if not 99, 95% of the, the composition of the team. Most importantly, we got the captain. So that was the most important part of the strategy. And once the captain was in place, everything just fell in place because then rest is just a combination. Thank you. Smriti, Meghai, Zee Chobis Taas. RCB, Madhe, Virat Kohli Sarka, Ek Dinghaj Khyadu Hai, Mail Team Madhe. Tar Sahaji Kaz, Tujha Comparison, Techa Shi Kela Zai, Tar Tiyatsa Kuthe Pressure Yeta Ka Tujha Kade. Aani Aata Woman IPL Suru Huna Re, Tar Tiyah Mule, Mahilaan Cha Cricket Kade Bagnya Cha Do Drushri Ko Na Hai, Tiyacha Madhe Kai Farak Pada Eka. Well, Mala Maith Ni Shagaya Na Marathi Kaate Ki Na Ekade. Kaase, okay, cool. Yes, I think, Maji Marathi pun ni odi canggih naya, but I'll try. Ki definitely Virat Virat Bhaiya has been RCB sobat kuh berusia ya, tani take comparison for sure, especially with the jersey number which we both carry. Ahe, but I would say that me naya mana, me malate expectations are he burden sarka kaya naya. I think I just don't like the kind of comparison because what he has achieved is amazing, and I would. Hope that you know I would uh, reach that level, but I'm no, nowhere near. So I wouldn't really say that they compare Karna Sarka uh, So, but but yeah, I think J J Tenik, uh, what he has achieved for this franchise, I would uh, I would like to try and do that. But uh, but yeah, I think. And the second question with the women's Premier League, I think uh, it's just an amazing time for women's cricket. Sagi everywhere you can just uh, see how people are excited and accepted women's cricket in India. Uh, so, so yeah, really looking forward to the first ever edition of Women's Premier League. Uh, hi, Smriti. Uh, yeah. uh, Manuja from the Times of India. Uh, Smriti, you, you said you've spent the last uh, three, four days with the uh, team. Uh, two things. Um, you, you know, uh, for, for most of the domestic players obviously look up to you. How do you break that ice of, you know, the superstar in the house? Uh, how do you break that ice? And... Uh, Obviously, you've been a part of franchisee cricket uh, for, uh, for a while. How do you balance the fo foreign talent as a leader? Well, I think, uh, firstly, uh, it's very important uh, as a leader to uh, reach out to your domestic players because uh, uh, for sure it's f first time for them. They, they, are, they are seeing all the overseas talent plus all the Indian players who are part of the Indian team and also everything else is new. So for me, I think uh, it's just about having that conversation where I don't make them feel that I'm already playing for India or, I, or it's something. I just have to have the conversation like, how's it going? And I think once uh, I don't tell them that uh, I have that normal conversation with him, them, I think it just takes two minutes for them to start talking. So for, for me, it's just to reach out to them by my own self and just have a conversation, which I tried doing that in the last practice session, uh, yesterday's practice session. And I think... I don't think that any any girls are left uh, left in that that way anymore. They are they just feel comfortable now. And the second question, yeah. So overseas, yeah. I think uh, we have an amazing uh, overseas bunch. Uh, they have all been uh, leaders in their own team in their own perspectives. So uh, for me, I think uh, it was an amazing conversation with them to have that you know that you you are the ones who can come up to me anytime and tell me about, uh, you know, share your experiences and help me as well. I think once we had that conversation, it just went smooth and I just, yeah, it's just hard to, uh, uh, you know, it's not really hard with the kind of people we have. They're all very sweet. We met uh, in the last two days. So yeah, yeah, it's just been very nice to have the conversation with the overseas and the domestic. So the team is looking in a good, good place. Yeah, hi, Spriti, over here. 
just a couple of questions I had, like first regarding the captaincy, how you plan to take it, or you have been involved in a senior leadership role with the Indian team, how it will transpire with the franchisee, and uh, I mean, I'll answer the first one, they can answer the second. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, I think uh, I have led uh, domestic teams from uh, right from my age of 16. Uh, I have led uh, my Maharashtra team uh, and also a lot of challenges trophy and the T20 challenges. So, so yeah, captainship is not something which is uh, very new to me. And also, uh, so yeah, I would like to use all those experience which I've had uh, and also being in the senior leadership group in the Indian team, I would like to use all those experience in, you know, in, uh, in WPL this, this time uh, and try and try and lead in a good way and uh, in the best possible way. Yeah, the second part of the question will be like, not much time to prepare, like, so what team has discussed over the last few days to get their combination right, going into the match tomorrow, like? Yeah, definitely, it's been a quick turn turnaround for all of us, uh, but, but yeah, I think uh, yesterday's practice session was first for a lot of, uh, lot of our girls, but, uh, but the good thing is that it didn't feel like it was the first session. Everyone were really talking to each other. It, was, it just felt like we know each other for a very long time, which is strange that I thought it's just going to be like, OK, everyone will do their work. But it wasn't like that. So that makes uh, our job easier as a team. And uh, yeah, of course, the, we would have loved to have more time. But, but the, I don't think that it's uh, important for us to think about it. I think we've tried to uh, get the best out of it in the last two, three days. And I think few of the girls had a camp in Bangalore before coming here. So we've tried to get the best out of them. And I think we are ready to go for tomorrow. Hello. Hello. Uh, Smriti. Uh, Smriti. Uh. Okay, hi. So I just wanted to ask you that equal pay for Indian cricketers was a huge step in the right direction. And what do you hope will be the next leap? Well, definitely, uh, equal pay was an amazing uh, move by BCCI. I uh, would like to thank BCCI for uh, the step. And for me, yeah, the next step is definitely the Women's Premier League, which is starting today, actually, no, for us tomorrow. Uh, and definitely, it's uh, the next big step for women's cricket in India. For uh, We've seen what men's IPL has done for men's cricket. And I'm hoping that the same happens for women's cricket. And I truly believe uh, it is the next big step. And hopefully, uh, it takes women's cricket to right directions. Thank you. Yes. Uh, Smriti ma'am, just two days ago, Jamie ma'am said, how much you were excited against Smriti, so she said that she was excited, but she didn't want to do it with Smriti. So, when you were with Delhi, so how much you were excited against Jamie ma'am? So, tell us a little bit about that. Well, yeah, I think Jamie has been a good friend, as everyone knows. And she was very excited about it, actually. We were very excited about it. We were very excited about it. We were very excited about franchise cricket. We were very excited about it. एक दूसरे के साथ खेलते थे और एक दूसरे के अगेंस्ट खेलते थे और हम लोग बहुत एक्साइटेड होते थे कि हम एक दूसरे के अगेंस्ट जाएंगे और मुझे पता है कि उसको बैटिंग के वक्त ज़्यादा बात करना पसंद नहीं तो मैं जाके ट्राई करूँगी कि उसको मैं वहाँ पे छेडूँ but but yeah I think otherwise also बहुत सारे इंडियन गर्ल्स हैं दिल्ली कैपिटल्स में जिनके साथ I think अभी हमने just dressing room share करा so I think it will be a good banter out there मैं ज़्यादा झगड़ने वाली लड़की हूँ नहीं but मतलब वो स्लेज करने वाली लड़की हूँ नहीं but will try and take मतलब कुछ तो मस्ती करूँगी उनके साथ when they come on the field and when I am batting I don't think मैं उनकी तरफ देखूँगी ज़्यादा और एक पूछना चाहूँगा भले आप आरसी भी रिप्रेजेंट कर रहे हो लेकिन बहुत सारे मतलब मुंबई में रहने वाले जो हैं वो शायद आपको सपोर्ट करेंगे क्योंकि आप आरसी भी के कैप्टन हो सो आपके आपके ऊपर थोड़ा सा वो प्रेशर भी रहेगा कि बाबा मुझे सारी दुनिया देख रही है या फिर मतलब मुंबई में भी मेरे उतने छाने वाले भले आप मुंबई में खेल रहे हो वेल आई थिंक इससे पहले मैं इंडिया के लिए खेल रही थी तो पूरी इंडिया देख रही थी तो आई थिंक वो वाला प्रेशर मैं लूंगी नहीं फॉर श्योर आई थिंक आरसीबी का बहुत ही बड़ा फैन बेस है और बिकॉज मैं इस स्टेट से हूँ मुंबई से हूँ तो आई होप कि वो लोग थोड़ा सा मुझे भी सपोर्ट करें तो आई थिंक डबल सपोर्ट है आई थिंक इट्स अ गुड थिंग मैं उसको प्रेशर प्रेशर की तरह नहीं लूँगी जितना ज़्यादा सपोर्ट उतना अच्छा होगा टीम के लिए सो होपफुली बहुत सारे मुंबई लोग आरसीबी की जर्सी पहन के स्टेडियम्स में आएंगे टू सपोर्ट मी एंड द टीम हाय दिस इज गोमेश फ्रॉम टीएनआई प्रतिमेश आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन फॉर यू कैन यू हेलो या आई कैन हेयर या सो यू स्पोक अबाउट द स्पोर्ट्स फॉर ऑल अप्रोच एंड द टूर्नामेंट्स that you are planning? 
So first and foremost, let me say that everything is moving at a very fast pace. See, look at the auctions got over some two weeks, two weeks back, not more than that, right? Matches are happening. Everything is, you know, our teams are working at a very fast pace. So the point is that once this is done, this is when we will start to roll on this agenda, right? So let this get over because it's like, it's crazy for my team right now. Also, Smriti, uh, there is a lot of anticipation. There is a lot of, uh, you know, uh, talk about how this business, this is a big opportunity for the Indian players, platform to showcase their talent. But it's also a very tight-packed, short tournament. Uh, what kind of conversations you are having with the youngsters as to not, you know, how to handle the pressure of all that and what, what to expect from this whole thing? Yeah, I think uh, we just spoke about it, uh, you know, in the morning today that how do we actually... Uh, uh, make our girl, domestic girls especially, you know, get used to these kind of uh, pressure situations and, and, and the whole, I think, management uh, team and the coaches uh, have been doing amazing work uh, in terms of talking to the girls. I spoke to a few girls about how are they finding it and they are just enjoying it. They are just like, we are just really excited. The coaching staff is so amazing that they are just making us feel home. So that's what, uh, like, I wanted to when I come into the team that, you know, my half job is actually done. So, so yeah, I think... Um, uh, all those things have been really uh, planned out well from the uh, support system which we have at RCB uh, with the domestic girls. So, so I'm I'm sure that they'll be ready uh, for the that sort of a pressure and anything on the field. We okay. <laughs> and any sort of uh, pressures on the field, uh, we all are uh, we all are there. I've al also spoken to the overseas that how we can uh, use our experience to kind of tell them of things what to do uh, in the pressure situation. So yeah, I think uh, uh, the conversation has already happened and hopefully we get them ready uh, as much as we can for the matches. Thank you and all the best. Uh, hey, hi, Smriti. Hi, Smriti. Hi, Smriti. Poonama here from QuickBus. Uh, auction ki time pe ek एक पॉइंट पे ऐसा लग रहा था कि हरमन और स्मृति एक ही टीम में आने वाले हैं <laughs> और एक हफ्ता पहले तक हरमन के साथ प्लानिंग कर रहे थे अब हरमन के अगेंस्ट प्लानिंग करना है बट बिसाइड्स दैट हाउ इम्पॉर्टेंट वाज इट फॉर द फॉर इंडिया टू मोस्ट एक्सपीरियंस्ड प्लेयर्स इन 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 द सेंस लीग लीग क्रिकेट के एक्सपीरियंस के साथ द टू मोस्ट एक्सपीरियंस प्लेयर्स इन दैट रिस्पेक्ट टू बी इन डिफरेंट स्कॉड्स टू सॉर्ट ऑफ यू नो probably reach out impact more players the domestic players i think hum log prepared the ki alag alag team mein jayenge uh, auction ka to ye batayenge zyada ki kya strategy thi wo uh, but uh, uh, but yeah i think uh, i don't think uh, wo waisa hota ki hum log uh, ek team mein uh, hote bahut i think it would have been a very very rare occasion because we kind of knew that uh, of course, uh, in terms of the auction purse and all that, I don't think, we didn't think that we, we, would, we both would end up uh, being uh, in the same team. Uh, but yeah, I think it was important for us both to, uh, you know, go in different franchises because in terms of, uh, you know, what experience we can share with them. So, so yeah, as, as you said, I think, uh, uh, I don't know, I don't think that we will be able to play a franchise. I think we were prepared for it. I mean, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure you were prepared, but I'm just asking how important did you think it was for Indian women's cricket or the growth of the domestic players especially, that you are in a different team? Yes, definitely. I think because we have played domestic in the last 4-5 years, so we didn't get the opportunity to sit with our domestic Indian players, talk about the bed, talk about the cricket, or share our experience with them. And share kare. Or not even us, I think the overseas girls also. So हम दोनों के साथ I think जो जो भी overseas girls लड़कियाँ जो आई हैं उनका भी experience हमारे domestic players को and I can already see the domestic girls you know going up to the overseas and talking to them and having that conversation and I think which is brilliant because हम लोगों ने वो franchise cricket में करा है जब हम Australia खेलने गए या England खेलने गए हम लोगों ने उनके domestic players से काफी बातें करी हैं so we always wanted to do that for the Indian cricket also so I'm happy that it's finally happening and I'm sure that I can help uh, the RCB girls and she can help uh, the MI girls. Uh, Thank you. Hello, ma'am. I'm Anubha from Spy, uh, Spile Times. Uh, my question is, uh, like, uh, how does it feel to have someone like Sanya ma'am in the team, who is a world champion, and how important will her experience be for the team in terms of the mental aspect of the game? 
Yeah, I think uh, what uh, Sanya has uh, achieved uh, in her career, and I just I was speaking to her yesterday that uh, uh, of course she's been a role model growing up for the for women's sport. I think in India uh, because everyone I remember my girl, uh, my mom saying uh, saying this to me that why don't you start playing tennis when I was 10 or 11 watching Sanya Mirza grow. So uh, what she has done and what uh, she has achieved, I'm sure that her experience of playing in those Grand Slams and handling that sort of pressure and uh, especially, I think, uh, a lot of appreciation and criticism. Uh, that is going to help all the girls massively. Uh, and, and yeah, I think that conversation of uh, knowing what the person has done in her ups and downs, and that if that really gonna, is going to help a lot of girls in our team. So, yeah, looking forward uh, to, you know, catching up, catching up with her more. Thank you. Hi, Pratmesh. Uh, this is Vijay. Yeah, hi. Hi. Uh, being the chief commercial officer, how do you differentiate uh, RCB men and RCB women? And uh, does it matter? Sorry, I can't hear you. Uh, RCB men and RCB women, being the chief commercial officer of the franchisee, how do you differentiate? And uh, do you uh, see uh, RCB women being as profitable like you know PNL balance sheet? How do you differentiate that? So first and foremost, we don't differentiate. Men and women's team are all equal for us. Commercially. No, so I'm coming to that, right? And it, it more than the commercial, it is the purpose for which this team has been acquired. We all know that the numbers don't add up, but the purpose adds up. What it does to the overall ecosystem is more important than the present, which is here and now. So that's the driving force, and that's, the that's why the decision has been made. Uh, hi, Spriti. Is there pressure on you as the most expensive player? <laughs> well, not really. Uh, I think even when we were all were watching the auction, uh, we never actually thought about the price tags or what is, how is it going to be like. Uh, we all were really happy that this is happening to women's cricket. Uh, we are uh, seeing something of this sort uh, for women's cricket. Uh, so for me also, I, do, I don't think that uh, a certain value uh, to any player, I wouldn't really think about it because for me, I think uh, for women's cricket, uh, as a women cricketer, to see uh, these things happening to women's cricket is amazing. Uh, and I would just like to keep that in my mind. And I don't think that, you know, uh, any sort of a value is going to add uh, any uh, pressure on uh, my mind, at least. Uh, uh, one, one, one question. Deewal, I'm so sorry. We wouldn't like to bother her so much. OK, one last to okay. you. This uh, guy, black guy. Black shirt, sorry. Black shirt. <laughs> Men in black. Hi, Smriti. Siddhesh from News 18. Hello. For the last few years, we've seen that women's cricket in India is very popular. We've seen that in Mumbai, Pune, and Kolhapur, like in small cities, many girls have practiced with many girls in nets. Mein practice karte, maine so, how big is this change and how big is the Premier League of tournaments for women's tournaments? For sure, actually, this is a very good question. Because in the last 4-5 years, 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 the last ये उसके जैसे मुझे बनना है and and it's finally happening मैं वापस जब सांगली जाती हूँ just near कोलापुर as you mentioned and I see like two under fourteen boys match happening and I can see four girls in each team in like a boys tournament and I it just I just make I just actually sit down and I I delay my practice for half an hour to just watch those girls because just it just makes me really proud to see uh, you know, so many young girls picking up bat and ball and wanting to uh, play professional cricket and definitely women's Premier League. Uh, the way uh, people are accepting it in India, I'm sure that a lot of parents are going to uh, dream uh, and make their girls dream that, you know, we want you to play the women's Premier League, we want you to play the play for India. So I'm sure, uh, you know, this is only going to make, uh, make it uh, grow one notch higher. Thank you. That's all. Thank you so much. लाल मातीतली कुस्ती म्हणजे